OI2IN Gaming here and I'm going to be doing a video, it's going to be a little bit different but it's just going to be about how to install Windows 7 via bootcamp and this is just going to be how to you get Windows 7 so first of all basically what we're going to do is this is a 2011 MacBook Pro uh, with a disk drive so it doesn't let you like burn the ISO to like a USB stick but you do have to I'll show you now just so basically all you have to do is you have to go to boot camp assistant and I'm running Mac OS Sierra as well um, as you can see with the and everything so basically what we basically I don't take any responsibility if your drive breaks and that's the fucking ice cream bin and I don't take any responsibility if anything happens to your computer this is just for educational purposes only and so yeah so basically this is the bootcamp assistant so all you have to do is click continue and download the latest support software is basically very simple you just put in the USB stick and there you go so I've already installed the Windows support software so basically all I'm just gonna put in that USB now and on this drive you can and on this one you can't and I'm gonna be installing Windows 7 today guys so and you can't actually install um, anything under Windows 7 and you need you because sometimes there's a third option up here for the MacBook Airs that you don't have a drive for because you have to use USB stick but this one has a DVD drive so I'm going to be using a Windows 7 disk so I'll just pop that out now okay so I just have that popped in now and so yeah uh, just popping in the disk now, just showing you. So basically, guys, this you cannot boot it, so you have to dub, uh, so you have to burn the ISO or the your Windows Seven DVD to a folder. So I'll just show you. Just make sure. So the disk should look something like this. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is. After you download the Windows Sport software, just click continue. And you can pick whatever, you can allocate whatever size by clicking on the edge of the Windows tab and doing this. And just before we partition and we start the operating system, basically guys, what all you have to think about when you're doing this is, is that, um, bearing in mind, back up your Mac definitely just in case anything happens you do not want to lose any of your data and um, you want to connect it to power if it's a MacBook connect it to power or if it's in if, or if it's a laptop connect it to power but obviously if it's an iMac or a Mac Pro you don't have to connect it to power because it's always connected to power but just I don't care how much percent you have left in your battery uh, operate uh, you do not want it to die in the middle of the install so basically I'm just going to divide the hard drive equally and I want to install Windows 7 because it's I like it so let's after you insert the DVD click install and then bootcamp needs to install update USB drive yeah just click continue if you want to do that so guys basically all you have to do when you have this screen is it is going to partition the disk and I'm gonna reach and I'm gonna record again when it reboots so yeah Okay guys, so basically when you reboot your computer you should be greeted by the Windows screen. Um so all you have to do is just follow the install process and if you boot it into OS 10 for some reason, all you have to do is reboot your computer and press the option key there. That's all you have to do is just press the option key and follow the installation as normal. So Windows is just loading the files. So guys, I'm going to cut when it gets to the setup. Okay guys, so we are just greeted by the blue screen. So we have the setup here. And guys, I think on the Retina MacBooks that, and sometimes on these ones as well, the ones that are 1280 by 800, the resolution hasn't scaled properly yet. So as you can see, this probably looks 
quite normal to you, but this looks quite scaled to me. But that is normal, and with the retina ones, it looks tiny. So I'm just gonna. So I'm just gonna skip these details now, guys. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have the option to navigate. So just pick the OS you want, and so yeah. Okay, guys. So this is probably the most important part of the installation. So you will see all these partitions, and you probably have a clue what to do, like me. So basically, all you have to do is go to the boot camp partition, click on it, click on Drive Options. Make sure it is partition for boot camp, okay? You will wipe OS 10 and OS 10 will be gone off your system and you will lose all your data unless you choose the boot camp you the boot camp option. I've done I've installed Windows many times on my Mac and this is exactly what you do. So click format because it's because it's formatted to the Apple, I think it's the GUID partition table, so you do not want to do that, so just format, and it should format perfectly, and when it's done, it should be just partition for, and the bootcamp should have erased, so you cannot see bootcamp anymore, but after that, this zero, partition for, done. So, next. Okay, so now the installation will begin, I will show you the next step. Okay, guys, so the... Okay guys, so the installation is more or less complete, it's just going to reboot now any second, and then I'll be back to you. You do not boot from this CD guys, just don't press the key, because that will just restart the installation again, so just leave it be. So it is starting Windows. after that it reboots after the step that just happened you get the same like installation screen and then it reboots and then you get this setup is checking for video performance and just checks for everything so I'll come back to you and here we go so we just have to type in everything now so basically we just type the name and I'll just do O I S I N And then we have to type password. I'm just gonna skip this bit until we get onto the product key. So, yeah, we have to enter the product key. You can skip this if you want, but I have a product key, so I'm just gonna enter this now. So, I'm obviously not gonna show it to you, so see you in a minute. So, after you go through the motions of that, it'll ask you to put in the recommended settings. So, just I'd, rec I'd do the recommended settings. So, now it's just preparing your desktop. So, so yeah, I'll forward you on when we get to the bootcamp installation drivers. Hey guys, so bootcamp is installing. It's pretty much set up now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, be sure to like, guys. I hope you enjoyed. So see ya.